60 young people from across the country are now benefiting from a six-week virtual financial literacy and small business training program undertaken by the Department of Youth. Neil Damon has the details. Senior Research Planning and Development Officer Aditi De Jesus told InfoHub that this workshop is to simply empower the nation's youth whilst adhering to the emergency measures. She stressed that despite the COVID-19 pandemic, the department still recognizes the country's high rate of youth unemployment, hence the launch of this workshop. The program will comprise of online classroom discussions, guest lectures from representatives um, from the business community, NGO, government, private sector organizations. For instance, the students will hear from representatives from GRA, NIS, Credit Info, and IPED. We also intend to use um, cases, scenarios, simulations, and role play. They will be given a one-day business challenge where they'll be divided into groups and they will need to compete among themselves to see who will be able to obtain the most profit from the business venture. The Jesus added that those selected were persons who are unemployed or in training programs. These persons include small business owners who do not have the relevant financial knowledge to sustain their business ventures. COVID-19 has served to intensify the economic plight of our young people. Since many of them are now receiving reduced income due to a reduction in business activities, some are laid off and others have lost their jobs. It is felt that if our young people become financially literate and know how to start and operate a business, it will give them a sense of hope during this challenging time. In addition, it will help them to better cater for their needs and to develop the resilience required for post-COVID-19. Upon the conclusion of the workshop, each student is required to provide a written business plan which will be reviewed. The department intends to provide information on how they can use their proposals to access funding through the Youth Innovation Project of Guyana, IPET, Small Business Bureau, or a commercial bank. Neola Damon, InfoHub.